my dear boys and girls today i would like to discuss communication skill which is one of the most important and cherishing and it will take you towards the road of progress and improvement and development and what not before i give you lecture on communication skill i would like to give you some hints some tips for your uh, future prospect you know good health is very essential today if you are healthy then you can perform all kind of jobs and if you are not healthy in spite of the fact that you are very talented you can't do things so you will try to adopt some tips and what are the tips make your life uh, i mean habitual take exercise and so far as its diet is concerned your diet must be you should try to include in your diet i mean that of the fruit juices vegetable milk curd and less meat and on top of that try to avoid the food which are which you call junk food or which you take from outside the home i would like to say one thing there are two things which are very important you should try to create two things and you should know about i mean there are these two things what are the two things Uh, acidity and inclinity acidity and inclinity you know what is acidity acidity which try to minimize your health which try to minimize your age which is very harmful for, for your future and try to improve your inclinity your blood is inclined so try to improve in inclinity You, if you want to improve inclinity, then definitely you take vegetable, food, uh, fruit, juices, and less. I mean that of a meat. It will try to improve your inclinity, and inclinity is the health. Inclinity is the life. So these are the two things which are very important. And now let us start. Uh, I mean that of a uh, our topic. you know our topic is communication skill you know communication skill plays a very significant role in man's life if you i would like to tell you one thing there are three fields i would like to say one engineering second doctoring and the third is communication skill if you are competent in communication skill then you can enter into all kind of sphere of life you know i am of the opinion our media anchor our media is very successful and very uh, important uh, factor of our life what happened is that our media anchor earn millions of rupees so if you are a good communicate if you try to communicate good skill then definitely you can got a lot of success so first of all i would like to make you understand with that for my example and what is the example you know there are two two student one is a topper man of distinction and definitely he should be given preference whereas on the other hand an average student an average student you know there is no difference between average student and that of topper a man of distinction there is no difference but the thing becomes topitary when they enter into any interview for instance they go for a interview of css interview for instance i would like to give that example uh, what happened is that a topper a man of distinction then and uh, he enter into the in front of uh, that of the examiner in front of the interviewer and then what happened is that he doesn't have any communication skill he cannot express his thoughts he cannot express his subject of specialization and he cannot 
answer the question of the examiner, the interviewer which they asked. And in spite of the fact that he is a topper, he is a man of distinction. Whereas on the other hand, an average student, if she has a lot of skill, lot of craftsmanship, you know, in this context I would like to say one thing. If you utilize your energy, your power, your sagacity, your wisdom, your enlightenment, your cognitive skill, your craftsmanship, your experience of life, and you can transform your failure into success. So try to utilize your energy, try to utilize your faculty. You should try to concentrate on one focal point, one central point, one core point. And what is there? That practice, practice and practice. Nothing but practice. So I am trying to give you the example of something that of the two students. First, man of distinction and topper from the University of the Punjab or whatever it is. Whereas on the other hand, an average student. You know, there is no comparison. Nothing like that. Of, but when they go over there, an average student can communicate his subject of specialization and on top of that he can present very beautifully. So he will get success. Whereas on the other hand, a man of competent, man of uh, I mean, that distinction could not. So I am of the opinion communication skill plays a significant role, very important role. Now let us understand my viewpoint, then uh, I mean that way. I am of the opinion there are two, you know, we have two hands. Is that clear? One, our right hand, second, our left hand. Is that clear? So I am of the opinion practice, practice and practice. If you digress from practice, if you deviate from your practice, if you submit from your practice, then definitely you can't do something positive. You can't do something energetic. So what is that? I would like to tell you. You have two hands. Is that clear? One, the right hand. Second, the left hand. Is that clear? Try to analyze the thing. If you say your right hand to write down any book, any letter, any essay, or any article, he can do it very easily because he has a lot of practice. Your dominating hand a lot of practice. But so far as I mean that of your left hand is concerned, he doesn't have any kind of practice. And he can't do it. But for instance, if if your left hand make a practice, practice and practice, a time will come, your left hand, your passive hand will try to equal to that of right hand. So practice makes a man perfect. Practice, practice and practice. So I am of the opinion, I am of the opinion that practice makes a man perfect. If you practice, I mean, out of these kind of things, then definitely you will get thriving future. You will get shining future. You will get a lot of, I mean, out of a prosperous future. So this thing plays one of the most important role. Now the question arises, how we can do it? How we can develop communication skills? I am of the opinion, I would like to give the example of a little child. You know, a small child, when he's born, we don't give him dictionary book, we don't give him exercise book, we don't give him dictionary or uh, other kind of literary books and things like that. But what happened is that this child learned this language, mother, his mother tongue, with, from his parent from his uh, brother and sister, from his surrounding, from his company. He learned this language. After three to four years, he, the child, started uh, start learning the language of his mother tongue. And he can communicate very easily. So I have also the opinion that the great, the great problem of our youth is that they feel shy when they try to learn the mother tongue. I mean, they try to learn the foreign language. Because of colonial hangover, we are bound to study, I mean, all of these things. So if we are bound to study this thing, then definitely we should try to follow some rules. I am of the opinion, a small child, after three to four years, he can speak his mother tongue. And he doesn't feel any kind of shy. He doesn't feel any kind of shame. He doesn't feel any kind of hesitation. He, when he is asked, he speaks like that. So they should try, the grown-up should try to behave like a child. You know, child doesn't uh, hesitate. The child doesn't try to shy and think like that. So they should try to hesitate. They shouldn't try to hesitate. They should try to copy the child. 
you know child doesn't hesitate child doesn't i mean that way feel, feel any kind of shame so one thing is obvious the grown up grown up think it is the grown up feel it is because of their ego when their ego is hurt they see a lot of problem and thing like that they shouldn't try to behave like that you know when they speak for a language they should try to speak and if somebody make you laugh if some but you try to ridicule you you don't it take it serious make your thick make your thin skin if you if you make your skin thick then definitely if somebody try to make you i mean that of a fool and thing like that you don't try to take it listen from one uh, one place and and try to uh, shatter in another so don't try to think i mean out of these people try to learn this language i am of the pin i would like to give the example if you fail fail and fail after failure at the cost of failure you will get success so keep on practice practice and practice nothing but practice so then there is another situation there is another situation and what are the other situation you know mechanic and driver the role of mechanic is that he if he separate the part of car the very function of mechanic is that he separate the part of car when he is asked that he then he can join it but if he says that try to uh, i mean try to drive the car he can't do it because this is not his job his job is only to uh, set a part and join the uh, i mean or the car he can't be a good driver a good driver can drive a good uh, very beautifully smoothly comfortably and harmoniously so same is the situation is over here the mechanic of english mean that he shouldn't try to learn the bombastic word the showy word the word which are difficult so they try to avoid using these words if he try to avoid using these words then definitely then definitely do you know some to some extent when he try to utilize difficult word so to some extent they try to impress other but that impression is a short trip for time useless so don't try to impress other with your bombastic language your bombastic language cannot create a continuity so avoid using i mean that of bombastic word now what should be your tactics what should be your plan your plan is that you should try to uh, you should try to uh, stop learning words again i am of the opinion you should stop learning words and start learning sentences again i am of the opinion you should stop learning words and start learning sentences you know what is the difference between the two what is the benefit of learning uh, i mean that of sentences you know when you learn different sentences you can you can utilize these in into various discussion very occasions is that clear for instance you have lot of sentences in your mind and if you are asked to communicate about bus about diving about cafeteria about when you are in the uh, school uh, i mean when you are in the school room and the your friends are trying to discuss some topic now if you have lot of collection of sentences you can communicate over there you can participate over there and you don't feel any kind of shame but if you try to stress on the word the difficult word you what happens is that you will be hesitated you will be humiliated when you try to speak i mean that of a in front of the in front of your friend or where, wherever you are because words can't allow you to speak continuously so don't try to use i mean other words try to use uh, uh, i mean that of the try to use the sentences these sentences you can use in different occasions different places so when you use these sentences in different places with the passage of time you can grow and if you grow then definitely you will get lot of success lot of victory then comes the last thing which is very important you know earlier you try to express other earlier you try to express your 
interviewer other you try to express your uh, i mean that of a examiner is that clear earlier you try to express your uh, companion or your uh, i mean that of outside of the world but now the question is if you want to if you want to satisfy yourself you you if for instance if you want to satisfy yourself that is not an easy job for instance i would like to give the example there are two professions in front of you you want to become either you want to become employee or employer there are two things now which how you can adopt i mean out of this philosophy how you can be a good uh, i mean that of right to decide what to you do if you are intelligent enough and if you have a lot of practice of speaking and if you have a lot of work up in your mind you can convince yourself you know convincing other is easy but you cannot convince yourself if you want to convince yourself you can convince it is because of you you have a lot of lot of knowledge lot of work up lot of skill of communication so you can easily communicate you can easily make your you understand so which sub, which a top which uh, i mean that of a professional is better now in front of you there are two professions either you want to become employer or you want to become employee so in this context i am of the opinion try to become employer and don't try to become the employee so that is the thing don't try to become the employee when you are employee you are bound you are you are slave and if you try to be a employer you will get a lot of success you are free to think uh, your mind is free and you th can think properly so try to become i mean that of employer as compared to i mean that of employee when you become employer you will earn a lot of money you are free to do what you are free to think about i mean that of your future prospect but an employee cannot do it so i am of the opinion communication skill also very important for your future prospect when you want to convince yourself you cannot convince yourself unless and until you have a lot of practice lot of skill lot of craftsmanship so i am of the opinion again i am of the opinion if you utilize your energy your power your sagacity your wisdom your enlightenment your cognitive skill your craftsmanship and your experience of life then you can transform your failure into success